Hey, welcome back. Microsoft 365 tenants that have mailboxes hosted in Exchange Online rely on Exchange Online Protection Service to route inbound and outbound mail. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this MS500 Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate course. After this lesson, you would be able to describe the anti-malware pipeline as email is analyzed by Exchange Online Protection. You would be able to list several mechanisms used to filter spam and malware and describe additional solutions administrators may implement to provide additional protection against phishing and spoofing. And you would be able to describe the benefits of spoof intelligence feature in the security center. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's understand the anti-malware pipeline in Microsoft 365. Before email enters the Microsoft 365 network and is processed by EOP, techniques such as IP and central reputation combined with heuristics catch a sizable amount of spam and bulk email at the first entry point in Microsoft 365. Once mail passes through the first entry point in Microsoft 365, it is scanned by multiple signature-based antivirus scanners. This alone is effective in catching up to 80% of commodity malware coming into the network. But malicious attachments that are heavily modified or released with a lot of different variants coming out at the same time can still get through. Next step is Exchange Online Protection scans individual files using a technique called Reputation Block. With Reputation Block, Exchange Online Protection compares file attachment with the results of scan that were previously performed throughout the Microsoft 365. Then it checks to see if there are specific files or pieces of files that are previously identified as malicious that appears to match something in an incoming message. Once these signals are collected, the results are run through a machine learning model and set of static rules to determine if the file is simply suspicious or truly malicious. The anti-malware pipeline that is comprised of Exchange Online Protection and ATP provides protection against all types of spam and advanced threats by using multi-layer defense in-depth approach to solving email security. This is where the steps are being explained in detail on what are the steps it goes through when it goes through the anti-malware pipeline of Microsoft 365. Now let's understand what is Zero Hour Auto Purge or ZAP. Zero Hour Auto Purge is an email protection feature in Office 365 that retroactively detects and neutralizes malicious phishing, scam, or malware messages that have already been delivered to Exchange Online mailboxes. ZAP is available with the default Exchange Online protection that included with any Office 365 subscription that contains Exchange Online mailboxes. ZAP doesn't work in standalone EOP environments that protects on-premises Exchange mailboxes. So what is a malware ZAP? For read or unread messages that are found to contain malware after delivery, ZAP quarantines the messages that combines the malware attachment. Only admins can view and manage malware messages from quarantine. Malware ZAP is enabled by default in anti-malware policies. So what is fish ZAP? For read or unread messages that are identified as fish after delivery, the ZAP outcome dep depends on the actions that configured for a phishing email filtering verdict in the applicable anti-spam policy. And the last one is spam ZAP. By default, spam, spam ZAP is enabled in anti-spam policies and the default action for spam filtering verdict is move message to junk email folder, which means Spam ZAP moves 100 messages to the junk folder by default. Let's understand phishing and spoofing protection. By design, the SMTP protocol supports spoofing. It allows a domain user to send messages on behalf of another domain because there are legitimate reasons for doing so. But spoofing is also used by phishers to get someone to believe that they are receiving mail from someone who they are not. 
usually to trick the recipient into divulging account credentials or sharing sensitive information. Exchange Online Protection has built-in anti-spoofing and anti-phishing protection designed to detect legitimate cases of spoofing why shielding organization from illegitimate ones? However, sometimes the service doesn't have enough intelligence or history to make that determination. So first of all, let's understand the Center Policy Framework. A Center Policy Framework or SPF text record is a DNS record that helps to prevent spoofing and phishing by verifying the domain name from which email messages are sent. SPF validates the origin of email messages by verifying the IP address of the sender against the alleged owner of, of the sending domain and determines if a sender is permitted to send on behalf of a domain. The next one is Domain Key Identified Mail. Domain Keys Identified Mail or DKIM can be enabled in Microsoft 365 for custom domains and helps to and helps to prevent spoofers from sending messages that appear to be coming from your domain. It does so by adding a digital signature to email messages in the message header. When you configure DKIM, you authorize your domain to associate or sign its name to an email message by using cryptographic authentication. Email systems that receive email from your domain can use this digital signature to determine if incoming email they receive from you is legitimate. The last step you can implement is domain-based messaging and reporting compliance. Domain-based messaging and reporting compliance or DMARC can also be enabled for custom domains. This authentication technique protects organization from fishers who have spoofed the 5322 dot from email address which is the email address displayed in mail clients such as outlook and outlook.com let's talk about spoof intelligence as previously discussed spoofing is controlled by the built-in protection provided by eop and by implementing authentication techniques such as spf dkim and dmark for customers who have microsoft 365 enterprise e5 or customers who have purchased Advanced Threat Protection or EOP licenses, the spoof intelligence feature in Microsoft 365 Security and Compliance Center can provide insight into centers who are spoofing your domain. You can review centers who are spoofing your domain and then choose to either allow the center to continue or to block the center. The spoof intelligence policy is automatically created, enabled by default, and enforced by Microsoft 365. While it cannot be disabled, you are able to manage it and control which domain or user can spoof your domain by reviewing the existing policy applied in the SCC. So how can we manage spoof intelligence? For each spoofed user account that a sender spoofed from your domain, you can view the following information in Microsoft 365 Security and Compliance Center. You can see parameters called sender. This is usually the domain from which the spoof email originate. Then another parameter you can see is spoofed user, the, the user account that is being spoofed by the sender. Then number of messages, which is the number of mail messages sent by the sender to your organization on behalf of the identified spoof sender or centers within the last 30 days. And number of complaints, where complaints filed by users against this center by your users within the last 30 days and authentication result. This value is passed if the center passed Exchange Online Protection Center authentication checks such as SPF or DKIM. Then decision set by. This shows whether the Microsoft 365 administrator or the spoof intelligence policy determined whether the center is allowed to spoof the user. The last date on which message was received by this center on behalf of the spoofed user. The last parameter is allowed to spoof or not, which basically displays whether this center is allowed to send email on behalf of the spoofed user. And the possible values include yes, no, or some user. All right, so that concludes a lesson on Exchange Online Protection. In the next video, we're going to talk about 
Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.